Hello, friends. Today, today, you are going to learn the on page techniques. Okay. Now, we need to understand what are the most important components of on-page SEO. Okay. As we already discussed, what are the important components of on-page SEO? One is meta title. We discussed, right? Meta title. Then we discuss meta description. Yeah. Then we discuss now we will see meta robot tags. Meta robot tags. Meta robots. Okay. Then we will discuss then the next component is H1 tag. Okay. Then is content optimization. We have to optimize SEO content optimization. So you have to integrate the primary keywords create the primary keywords and secondary keywords in the content. Okay. Yeah. Then what is the next component? You have to improve this page speed. Improve the Page speed and user experience. So you have to improve the user experience of desktop and mobile. Okay. Chalo, now let's do the practicals. Let us do the practical by analyzing a case study. By analyzing the case case study. Okay. Now, see this is a page called as free manual software page, landing page. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. So now, what what do you understand from this page? See, I what I'll do is first I'll open the source code of this page. So I'll type control U. Okay. Yeah. See in control U, what do you find? See, first you find your title tag. See, I I'll do control F. I type title tag. So what is title tag? Fleet management software. So a fleet management software is the targeted keyword. Okay. Fleet management software is the targeted keyword. So we have integrate integrate the primary keyword in the title tag. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what what did we say? Fleet management software, best fleet management software increase profits. So what what did we do? Then we told that you have to integrate the USP, integrate the unique selling point, unique selling point in the title tag. In, in one single phrase, in bracket, in one single phrase. Yeah? Clear? Now, one more tag is important, right? Okay? Now, we also use get. See, now we have used viewport tags. Right? Okay? Meta name is equal to viewport. Then we have used description tag. See, I take this camera down. 
Okay. I'll keep this term. See, now what is this? Metanium is your description. Most affordable fleet management software to improve fuel efficiency. Sign up for free live demo now. So what do you understand from here? So we have integrated. Integrate the primary keyword with the unique selling points in the description by using call to action. Yeah, clear? Okay, then we use viewport tag. See if I type your viewport, control F, V I E W, viewport. See, viewport tag is basically used for your mobile devices. You have to use that viewport tag. Yeah. So then I I'll go for robot tags. It's robot. Okay. So we have not used robot tags here, but I'll, I'll tell you an example. See here, meta name is equal to robot. Meta name is equal to robot. Content is equal to index follow. Okay. Index follow. So what is the meaning of it? See, see you have to add, you have to add robot dot txt file in your website. So how do you do that? Okay, you create a robot.txt file. Create robots.txt file. Then you upload it to your upload it to FTP server. Okay. Once that is uploaded, once that is uploaded, you also submit it to Google Search Console Report. Google Search Console. Okay. Now you would like to see what is robot.txt file, correct? Yeah. So I, I open this fleet root.com backslash robots dot txt so what do you mean by this so we have said user agent and this allow okay so I take this entire code here in the file see this what if this is the code control C and control B yeah Okay, control C, control B. So, what does this logic means? That I'm saying to robots that these uh, there are two components in robot.txt file. One is user each one, one is disallow. So, I'm saying to robots, robots is what Google bot. Yeah. So, I'm telling, I'm giving instruction to robots that please do not allow any of my uh, uh, please do not disallow any of my files. Right. So that means. I'm giving instruction that please allow all my files which have been there in the database of my website in the Google Search Console report. So all files should be crawled and indexed in the Google Search database. So user agent is blank. That means no no file should be disallowed. So I am specifying a path URL here as sitemap, right? Okay, that's called freetrue.com backslash sitemap.xml file. So I'm telling robots that. Please allow the sitemap.xml file to be crawled in the Google search database. Yeah, correct? Understood? Now, we want to check the speed and UX of the website. Okay, now let the most important component is speed. Speed and UX. Because if website is loading quickly, Automatically, Google will give you more preference.
Yeah. Okay. So how will I do that? So looking at the case study. Yeah. So I go to Google Page Speed Insights, Google Page Speed Insights. Yeah. Okay. So I see I'm writing everything over here so that it becomes simple for you to understand. Yeah. I go to Google Page Speed Insights. Okay. So then I click here. I copy this URL. Okay. Because I want to do the testing of this URL. Yeah. Okay. So I open this. Okay. So I enter page URL over here. So I'm going to analyze the speed for desktop and for mobile. So enter the URL. Then analyze the score and speed for desktop and mobile. Yeah. Okay. Clear? See. So here's the score for mobile 39, desktop 81. So the score has to be improved for mobile. Mobile score should be 90 and desktop score should be 90. We already discussed this, right? Mobile score should be 90 out of 100. Desktop score should be 90 out of 100. Yeah. So we did the testing of this tool now. Now I go to this tool. Which one? Think with Google. Now I, I want to see how much time this page is taking to load. So this is a part of a on-page SEO process. So you need to keep keep on monitoring the speed and UX of the website. Yeah. So I click here. Okay. So think with Google. So I click on tools and research. I click on tools. Then I open on. Then test my site. So here comes test my site. Open. So use think with Google. Use think with Google to test the UX of the website on the mobile platform. Clear? Yeah? Clear? Yeah? So I test this. So I control V and I test. Enter. Oops, we couldn't find this to me. One second. I see this as beetroot. So there's some error over here. I see control V. I go down. Yeah. So they couldn't find the domain. Okay. So they are saying so there are some errors over here. So that will sort it out. Okay. So I'll say www dot this enter okay so anyways we'll check that later yeah and now what is the text component over here see this content optimization see we have used the primary keyword over here right okay see what is the primary keyword here fleet manual software so see here we have used the primary keyword fleet manual software okay in the content optimization that we use. See, I'll do control F. I'll type fleet management software. This is the primary keyword. You use the best fleet management software. Then we use fleet management software. Yeah. Then we have used one more keyword fleet management app. Okay. Fleet management app. Where? Yeah. Clear? So this is a part of content optimization. Then what we have done is we have actually specified the USPs. USPs are which vertical we are working. 